Kirk Mantolu Madonna, or as the English translation says, Madonna in a fur coat. Disclaimer, this book is not about Madonna the singer. It pains me to make this disclaimer, but uh, this confusion has happened in in my home home country in Turkey, um, which is in fact the home country of this book. This uh, book, Madonna in a Fur Coat, is a Turkish novel written by Sabatin Ali. Uh, it was first originally published in 1943. It was translated to English in 2016 and it was first published in English in 2017. You can find other translations of this book such as French or German. This is going to be a spoiler free uh, review slash suggestion video and I want to start with a summary of the book. So we have an unnamed narrator who has lost his job. Uh, one day he's walking in the streets of Ankara and one of his old friends approach him with his, with his car. They talk and the friend of our narrator, who is a manager of a bank, offers him a job. The next day our narrator goes to the bank and uh, in, in his office he meets with Raif Effendi. Uh, Raif Effendi is uh, a quiet, closed off man who is unnoticed by his colleagues. And our narrator first comes into the office he describes Raif Effendi as a, a mysterious man. Uh, he tells that he is a man whose life you are curious about. Raif Effendi, as we learn, works as a German translator in the bank. Um, in the beginning, this is all we know of him. Later on, he starts to stay at home taking sick leaves. So our narrator goes to his home to check on him and to bring him the documents to be translated. On one of these days, Raif Effendi asks our narrator to go to their office and bring his belongings back. Uh, when our narrator is at the office and while he was rummaging Raif Effendi's desk, he, he finds this notebook with this other stuff. When he goes back to Ray Effendi's house, he asks Ray Effendi to uh, read what's written in this notebook um, because he wants to learn more about this man. Uh, so um, Ray Effendi allows him to take the notebook home and our narrator starts reading what's written in the notebook. In the notebook, we read about Ray Effendi's life in the 1920s. He was sent to Germany by his father to learn soap making, even though he wanted to go to art school. One day, as he was roaming the streets of Berlin, he visited this art gallery. And in that art gallery, he saw this captivating painting of a beautiful woman. Uh, it was a self-portrait of the artist. After this visit to the art gallery, we will learn how Raif Effendi's life unfolds until the present day mentioned in the book. So this is was a short summary I can give you without any spoilers. I kept the mystery uh, hidden in this summary because I, I want you to discover it by yourself. I have read other works of Sabatin Ali before and uh, in his works, uh, his depictions and his descriptions are really important. Uh, they urge you to slow down and really appreciate how he builds a character, builds a scene, and builds, builds a situation. This also brings us to the psychological analysis that he does with his characters. In the beginning of the book, the narrator is unemployed, so you are unemployed as a reader. Uh, and then he finds a job, he, um, he meets Raif Effendi, uh, then he reads about Raif Effendi's life. So you are now Raif Effendi and you are in Berlin, you are in 1920. Uh, you learn about post-World War Berlin and what the German people are talking about uh, in those days. So, um, so beside uh, giving you the analysis of uh, people, it also gives you the picture of uh, 
Germany and Turkey in the past times. Um, so I haven't read the translated versions of this book, uh, therefore I cannot really talk about for them. Uh, so I hope that they do justice to Sabatinelli's prose. So this was my spoiler-free review slash suggestion video for Madonna in the Fur Coat by Sabatinelli. If you want a spoiler-filled review, uh, please let me know in the comments. Uh, also, like if you like the video and subscribe to see more content of me talking about books. I'll see you in the next video.